okay, a little reminder, we have Circuit Playgrounds back in stock. Um, I just wanted to mention that before we jump into... We've got some cool rotary encoders. Um, rotary encoders, usually they come in small sizes, but someone pointed out these awesome large CNC rotary encoders. Um, these are 60 millimeters in diameter. Um, they've got 100 clicks per rotation, which actually makes sense if you're using it for CNC because you'll want to get, um, you know, one hundredth of an inch or a hundredth of a centimeter or a hundredth of a meter. Um, they have a nice clicky feel. On the bottom, uh, you have terminal blocks that are really easy to wire to, and you get your standard rotary encoder kind of grade code out. Uh, the VCC can be like any voltage, I think, basically. It just uh, is the other side of the uh, positive connection. And the ground is, you know, your reference ground, and then A and B tick up and down. So use any rotary, two-wire rotary encoder uh, library. There's also on the bottom, uh, if you look really quickly. Go to the other column. The other foot. Yeah. There's um, A and B is duplicated. The bottom, there's negative A and negative B. Sometimes you want, like, the opposite polarity. They're also available. Mm -hmm. And we have them in silver uh, and in black. Um, you can, I believe you can remove uh, that little knob if you want it to be just, like, something you yeah. grab with your fingers. This is cool. Um, but yeah, originally used for CNC machines. So let me show a quick demo, but these are very uh, satisfying to use. Clicky, 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 clicky. Okay, so let me auto focus. Okay, so this is the uh, rotor encoder and uh, I just you know quickly wired this up to a feather. There's some mounting holes here. Uh, I believe the data sheet has the mounting orientation. It has a really nice heavy feel. It's like, it's really hefty. And the clicks, you can really feel the clicks. They're very um, strong. So this is good for a precision work, but you can also rotate it very quickly. And then uh, let me just plug in my demo for a moment. USB-C goes here. Is the big knob removable or is it permanent? The big knob is not, just the little, little knobule. Okay, so this is my little demo written in CircuitPython. I'm using the rotary uh, encoder library it sounds just like the um sound that i have for top secret yeah it is it's like it's it sounds like should, um, should put a mic on that it's reminiscent of like um like a, safe. a safe it has that same clicky feel or um no masterlocks didn't have the clicky feeling but like a yeah it definitely vibrates as you move it and it's this is nice. it's nice it's easy I to get like yeah it's easy to get yeah. precision um and of course you can what's nice about the wheel is that you can yeah you have I to mention this would be good for a escape room right. yeah you can like rotate this super uh, fast. that's what the that's what this knob is for so it's precision is this way and speed is this way so um two colors silver and black very okay cool. i love this stuff okay next up next up we've got uh from monk makes monk makes um has written many a guide and a tutorial for Adafruit um, and is very skilled at making really high quality hardware. And I really like this very simple four-way MOSFET switch. Um, it's a big PCB, but it kind of does everything you want with controlling solenoids or motors. Um, this is for, uh, I think he designed it originally for um, people doing um, model train stuff where you have to turn on and off 12 volts, you know, switches constantly and they might be inductive or they might be LEDs. Two amp MOSFETs. Uh, each one has protection flyback diode. It also has a really cool feedback LED and it has a terminal block input, terminal block outputs. So I'll show you on the overhead. Sure. Hold on, I got I gotta zoom this out because this is a big demo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what okay. I've got here. Hold on. There's so much on here. Thank you. Thank you, my fine assistant. So I have, uh, you know, my Metro Mini, which is an Arduino compatible, and it's just sending the PWM signals, and the PWM signals go into the um, header here. So I'm only using three. That's why there's, like, one hole missing. So you have uh, here red, green, blue, and uh, brown. That's ground. So that goes in. That's the signal. So PWM signal goes in. Then you need the power. So the high voltage power up to 16 volts comes into the terminal block. I've got it here through a DC jack, and then when I un you know, when I plug this in and unplug it, this uh, little yellow LED, which is the light bulb, lets me know that the power is good. And I think it's nice is this extra little detail here. You see the PWM um, outputs are also visible as these little LEDs to let me know that that uh, terminal block is activated. So this is connected to an RGB LED strip, uh, which requires 12 volts and you know an amp of power. 
um, the 12 volts comes into here and is switched by these MOSFETs so that you know this signal is three volt logic or five volt logic, whatever, uh, safely goes in and uh, turns on and off. This is PWM'd um, at high speed, the high voltage 12 volt power coming into the terminal block. So I'm using it for a high power LED driving, but also really good for solenoids, uh, relays, pumps, you know, unidirectional motor control, kind of anything that you need to do up to 16 volts and two amps. Okay, sorry to show up besides you, Lady. Or, oh, no, wait, there's one more. One more. We've also got, uh, a, as a partnership with Tomorrow Lab, we have this cool hack box. Um, it's meant to be used with PyLeap, our application that allows you to do yeah. no code programming with the Adafruit Clue Board. And uh, we've got a bunch of projects that you can do uh, that Tomorrow Lab will be releasing. Um, we've got the Clue. Um, we've got uh, RGB LED with NeoPixels that uh, clip on so you can do addressable LED projects. Clip on servo and servo driver so you can do little robotics projects. Portable battery pack and enclosure batteries. Um, looks like some fun stickers from Tomorrow Labs. USB cable and a lanyard uh, for making portable projects. We've linked from the product page to the PyLeap guides that you can follow along and also DigiKey will be doing some work with these. Okay, now, this time I mean it, the story should so I do Lady Ada, our team, our customers, and everyone who makes the things go in the community is... The I2S Amp BFF. I love these BFFs. We have our cutie pie boards and Seed has their shower boards and maybe you want to be making very small projects. Uh, well, we've had a bunch of BFFs that add um, uh, NeoPixel level shifting, that add battery support. Uh, we have one that's coming out with iSpy. Um, and one of the things that I thought would be really useful is to be able to have high quality audio come out because um, a lot of the cutie pies that we have don't have uh, analog outputs. And maybe you want to make a little music player or a prop or some toy that makes audio sounds. So this i2s amplifier is a great 3 watt amp. Uh, it only uses three pins um, and on the ESP32 and RP2040 and NRF52840, Cutie Pie and Chow board, you can use any pins. I will say this doesn't work in this configuration with the SAMD21. It could work but you'd have to cut the traces and rewire it. And let me see if I've got my demo. So um, let's go to the overhead again. I don't know if this will work but we'll try. If not, I can just show it off. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, I've got music coming out of here, so you can hear the audio. Do, 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 do. So this is actually streaming using the ESP32, and it's connected to an MP3 server that's streaming our frequency that's so cool. um, record that Tom White did. Uh, he was a uh, CEO here at Adafruit. Uh, so it's streaming the audio out and it's sending the data over I2S, which is digital, which then is connected to this Molex Pico Blade connector. So to keep it nice and small, we're using Molex Pico Blade. Um, you can, you, you know, I just grabbed one of, in the shop. We have the little pigtails and I soldered it to this 4 ohm 3 watt speaker, which is the max you can drive with this. By default, it's set up to be um, stereo. So you see this R and L, you leave them empty and it means it's mixing the left and right channels to make the stereo output, which will sound great for 99% of use cases. If you ever just want the left or right channel, you would solder um, one of those bridges closed. Uh, it's also connected to A0, A1 and A2 for the um, data pins. So in the back, I think, yeah, the default is D, it is A0 left, right, word select A1, and bit clock is A2. But you can cut these traces and then there's these little pads you can solder to and you can like solder little wires if desired uh, to connect to um, other pins. Again, for the SAMB21, you'd have to do that. What's nice is the um, RP2040, ESP32 series, and the NR52840 can use any pins for I2S. Uh, so, you, you know, you can use those defaults or you can change them as desired. And um, it gets you nice, high quality digital audio. So if you want to make um, music players, I mean, again, this one is streaming, but what you could do is, um, especially on the RP2040, which has eight megabytes of onboard storage with the QSPY flash in CircuitPython, you can easily play fairly long audio clips, uh, it even supports MP3 through I2S. Arduino also has some I2S support, but it's 
not as good, honestly, as Circuit Python, which kind of we, we've really tried to make it have uh, first class support for streaming MP3 or WAV files. Uh, this ESP32 demo is in Arduino. It's just one of the demos that I found published for um, I2S MP3 streaming. Um, and that works fine too. You can also use eight ohm speakers, um, but you know, four ohm, four ohm, three watt will get you the most audio. So for like five bucks, you've got digital quality audio coming out uh, with a class D amplifier. Um, I really love the Max 98 uh, 357 chip on here. It's a very good quality audio amplifier and it makes for a lovely little board to add to your Stemic UT or Cheryl. That's new products. New, 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 new.